Hi Collective, welcome to my channel Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone. If you are not subscribed to my channel, this is where you should do that right now because if you come into alignment with my reading, you did for a reason and you want to catch my readings in real time because welcome to Stargate guys. If you're catching this right as I uploaded it on 8-8, this is a very powerful day, if not the most powerful day of manifestation of the entire year. I love Lionsgate. This year it is extra strong too because of other factors with the numerology, this being in the year of a seven. Also something with adding it down to something with the five. I'm not going to get too much into that, but then, and, and, and that has to do with structure and it just, anyway, I'm not going to get too metaphysical on this. Well, with numerology anyways, but Lionsgate is a very, very powerful day of infinite abundance of manifestations. If you look at it, eight, eight, it's the infinity symbol, that infinite abundance, the ever flowing energy, right? Of our divine source and creator. Now this has to do with our star system, Sirius, right? Our spiritual sun aligning with the sun in the sky with Orion's belt the, um, and the pyramid guys, right? So it's almost like two suns were fully connected. It creates a vortex of energy that we are connecting with source energy. So this is, you know, a powerful time of manifestations, but it's also accelerated ascensions. For those of you speaking spiritual gifts and awarenesses and abilities and things like that, you're able to access them. Your uh, large amounts of energy come through these portals and these gateways to help activate and integrate and and just align. And this is uh, an optimal time to switch timelines to really obtain those dreams and goals because it's like changing to the frequency. Um, for a lot of you, like if you're learning to go within, if you're learning to connect with your your intuition, right, which is very powerful and strong at this time, it's going to show you like those um, those hidden opportunities and, and just so much stuff happens. So um, you got to be a little patient with me too as I'm a gatekeeper. One of my spiritual missions as a light worker is I help anchor and the energies that come through our gateways. And we have many throughout the year. Lionsgate is our biggest one, right? So I'm like um, a portal <laughs> of energy that we help flow these, these energies through. So there are a lot of intense energies that I feel. So a lot of like me doing this with these intense energies, I'm still here <laughs> having to keep this energy calm as I go about my day, right? So that's why maybe it could be a sign that for some of you, I mean, there's many different missions as a light worker, and some of us light workers have multiple missions. I'm definitely on at least a triple mission. <laughs> but if not, I believe I'm such an ancient soul that I've had some new life paths and incarnations being a light worker that I, I can kind of dabble in each and every one. One of my biggest ones, too, is being a spiritual teacher. So... Here I am, and if you guys didn't know, that's why I said subscribe if you have not, is my platform is for the light workers, the earth angels, the star seeds, the one for four. A little did you know just by watching my readings alone can activate you, awaken, align you. Because like I said, I, I carry a lot of this energy, so it's flowing to you whether you realize it or not, just by the tone of my voice, listening to me, watching me, the color frequencies that I use right? Um, the divine uses me like um, a vessel, right? To deliver their messages as I channel a lot of messages from the divine source or creator, right? Um, so I have a lot of, <laughs> you know, um, spiritual teachers that I connect with, right? A lot of, um, that's why you'll hear me where I call on the gods and the goddesses and ancient beings, their star families and just so many others to deliver these messages for you. For this reading, um, in the last couple of days, I felt guided to the Shaman Dreams Oracle to get some ancient messages and some knowledge across. The color frequency, I talk a lot about the energies that I'm feeling, of course, is this Leo, this lion energy, the orange and yellows. Working with those could be very significant as they can literally activate um, your chakras, right? Your solar plexus and your sacral are very key. And that's what you need for this creative energy, your strong intuition, that passion, you know, that really that sun energy, right? That's really going to activate things for you. Because for a lot of you, you need to activate your divine feminine energy, 
right? They're showing me this in the fortune wheel. This is really luck and right timing. So like I said, if you were guided to this reading today in real time, it's very powerful. For those of you that are catching this later, that's all right too. We actually feel this Lion's Gate energy from around July 24th, I say, because the star system is starting to rise. Okay, and we feel it through Lion's Gate about a week after. So a week out, so... I'd say through like the 18th, right? Of August, right? So it's a very powerful time. Now, there's many different portals and gateways that happen throughout the year where you can do these shifts. That's why you do want to subscribe if you want to catch those because I always do readings on each of them. Repeating numbers is going to be a sign for you too. If you don't want to watch rings and you want to know each month portal gateway open up around the the significant numbers, right? So 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, Lino, things like that. But a major role too is the, the um, what universal year we end. I can open up some other ones. But each month, right? And that really gives us the to access the portal and the gateway to the energies of what we're aligning with at that time, with which, which zodiac sign we're in, to what's going on affecting us with the cosmic alignments at the time of the portals that open up. But they allow you to do timeline shifts and jumps. It's kind of like, if you if you think about it, like, like TV, you know, the different channels, the frequencies that you can change to. It's like your energetic frequency can literally change channels to different timelines, different paths, which are going to open up different opportunities for you. It's like, yes, we have free will, but it's like when you pick a channel, what energy you're in, that's kind of like on autopilot where you're going, and that affects the opportunities, the situations that you're going to have happen for you. Now, when you can change that frequency, you now call them, it's like changing the channel. You now have access to different material, different, you know, opportunities, different situations, different people, different things. You see what I mean? So, and a lot of these things, you know, these higher vibrational frequencies you're able to obtain and everybody's different. It's not like everybody can turn to the same channel because you, you're you only allowed to go so far depending on whatever, which frequency that you're on. I hope I'm explaining this okay. So it's like literally they're for elevation or they're for changing. It's where you have to um, kind of work through your karma too where you realize that if you're in a certain situation it's because of a frequency. Now maybe the karma, it's not always bad. Some of it's like if you're holding on to an outdated trauma or wounding, it's like maybe if you drop this, now you're not going to be blocked for this. It's like say you have... A certain block where you tell yourself like you can't get obtain a certain job or a certain um flow of frequency or um like uh, or uh, job opportunity or, or career advancement or something like that but you're able to you know release some sort of wounding around that maybe you were fired from some job or didn't get a you know didn't get a um i'm sorry bear with me with this energy you didn't get that advancement that you wanted. So it, it, it subconsciously created a wound where you didn't feel you were good enough, but now maybe there's a new, uh, a new like um, opportunity available to you or something new that you want, but you, you need to change the frequency to be able to get access to that. Like it's literally like that. So each month is very significant within these pearls and these things because we're ever changing, evolving and changing, right? And you really do have access to these different um, paradigms and alternate realities and, and different ways and, and different situations. It's like you can often tell you're, you're stuck in a certain cycle or paradigm if it keeps repeating itself, repeating itself. A lot of us get stuck in these until we learn that lesson or that trauma. So um, a lot of times it, it, it's our mind. It's just rewiring and rethinking and these paradigms and these shifts kind of help us alter those things. I hope I'm making sense. Sometimes I can get really metaphysical. So I'm going to stop with that. So, um, is it baby no 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 just color with those right now okay all right so and i got my little girl <laughs> so anyways um wow i went really in depth to explaining the different what these different portals these gateways these things can but this is the most powerful one right they've been showing me heart home compassion we're in between four super moons which is very powerful time of releasing a lot of us are releasing a lot of these very very powerful 
um, traumas, right? They're showing me transmuting pain, fool's embrace. This is a really big term because a lot of us are, are like really far away from our path. And when we're aligned with the spiritual sun, it's really giving us those downloads and those realizations of where you're supposed to be amongst where you may really be. And so a lot of you could be getting like major realizations and revelations of things that you wanted from when you were a child. Like you need to know that really your inner self, your, your inner child, your higher self is your inner child. You did come here with the blueprint to your life. You knew that. But conditioning in our world has led you away from that. It's like that's why you really have to tap into you you have to find what that inner child is and we say that because that those are those fresh thoughts that you had when you were a child what when you were younger what did you dream and desire what did you want to do what were your passions what were your dreams you often if you really look at it the things that excited you when you were a child they don't really change unless it's due to conditioning or some sort of trauma like here's a silly example I'm, they're showing me a trampoline like when i was little like i loved my trampoline very much and I had a lot of trauma around that because of moving and things like that. I had a, a tornado come and take one of my trampolines away from me and things like that. And it was just something like, um, I remember my father like tried to replace it for me. They're quite expensive back then they were. And he tried to order me all the springs for it to fix it. And it ended up being the wrong size and that it didn't work and it, it bothered me a lot and I'd always want a trampoline I didn't care how old I was so when I was older I got a trampoline it was the same thing like um we had a hurricane come this time because I'm in Florida and stuff and it damaged the trampoline and, and the enclosure but I fixed it and then the insurance company was trying to say I couldn't have the trampoline just all of these things but it was one of those things like I didn't give up like I fought it I found a loophole to have it or whatever but it's one of those things like I knew that I had a, that I, I you know it's just something simple like that like um don't let outside things like and I noticed that like I had a the, because something had happened to a storm or whatever like I felt it happened again so you can have these repeat things happening I hope this is making sense um you gotta sometimes you have to fix things and correct them for yourself you need to know that your thoughts create reality what you say is going to happen what you feel is going to happen it's a really big thing <laughs> so but sometimes like you have to do things for you like and don't it's when you really start living life for you and nobody else is when you really take charge and control of your life you know so don't tell yourself like oh well, i already had that as a kid or whatever like if it's something you want to do, do it. That that inner child, like that, that's where we stop living. We tell ourselves, like, oh, I'm older now. I can't run around and play. You know, like if I you have to be free and you have to know that inner child is always there because we're always supposed to be here having fun. Being these, I'm getting like gypsy vibes like that is just so beautiful because like the gyps they're the ones that are dancing in the rain and wearing whatever and so in tune with the world and the universe and the magic because our world really is very very magical and powerful and really dreams are made to be manifested that is what makes each of us unique we're all could you imagine if everybody was going around being their own magician and creating magic how magical this world really could be and it, it you know it's just it's so far from that way and we're trying to bring that magic back right so you could really be feeling a lot of things that you desired when you were a child you know and and or maybe it's like treats and things like that like maybe you always wanted to go to an ice cream shop right and get a sundae and put gummy bears and and just sprinkles and everything but you're like oh, all the sugar and all the dyes and and you, that i mean i know it's not good for you but it it's one of these things like stop the restrictions if that's something you're wanting to do then go do that because that could be something you don't realize subconsciously every time maybe you drive by the shops or you see every you see those kids getting to experience that Sunday that you always wanted and you never got to have it you know because maybe you had very strict parents or whatever the reason is do you see what I mean like um you got to experience these things that you truly desire, that you want, even if it's as silly as it, as it may be. Now, now, a lot of very significant things are going to be coming out, too, about, like, your destiny, your true life's calling. Um, so if you're not in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing, you're going to be having those feelings, right? 
like for me one of my things is like I always knew that I was supposed to be a singer right and that you know I come from a line a family of musicians and I know that it's within me like every time I'm singing I have this feeling like it's I know that I was a musician in a past life I know that there's something with music I can't deny the feeling but because of conditioning and things like that and in the shyness and that I have those are things that I need to overcome you know and it's like <laughs> it's little things like that like I know that I'm not going to be living my true um life path and purpose until I overcome that and I go somewhere and <laughs> I sing on stage and I do something so it's um it's one of these things like you'll know what it is you often feel it like I can't tell you like how like when I'm singing like how it's just it creates like euphoria you know whatever that is maybe it's a hobby or something if you think back what made you feel so good and so like it just didn't matter you know it was before it started to matter when you start like looking around at what people are thinking about you or saying or that's all conditioning that's all things that you need to let go of all right so wow dream thief refusing the call like i said somebody is or a lot of you are refusing your call you're you're being your own dream thief like you don't even know how like we're we're so conditioned to to be that we got to work hard and work hard for the money you know and to live this life and the more work that you put in and and the harder that you work and things like that but it's really energy and it's just a vibrational frequency and you really do have the power to live the most abundant life that you really want when you're in alignment with your divine life path and purpose because it's that energy that you're radiating that it just flows in so much stuff to you you know and so when you're pursuing your passions it doesn't matter you're going to attract everything because it's a frequency and that's really when you have it all it really is because this life is more than just the physical physicality money whatever that's why some people you may look at some people like gosh why are they so blissful and so happy with have with little money that they have or whatever because they already have everything that they desire around them that's not for you to judge them some people want a simplified life and don't want a lavish lifestyle luxury there's some that do i know that i do i know that i was royalty in a past life so that to me that that's my comfort that's what's going to make me feel because it's going to be you know it's going to bring me back to where i was like it's not saying that not like in this lifetime i've experienced losing almost everything i mean and um and it and it humbled me which is very beautiful and at the same time it made you know really that's why i feel like you're always going to have these ups and downs and often that's why it's the ones that lose everything they then when they get humbled they get then replenished with everything whether if it balances out in this lifetime or it's coming from a previous lifetime you know that maybe why that's why you really can't like pity yourself you can't be like well why did this happen to me this was unjustified this was not meant to happen other people did this to me no you did <laughs> whether you realize it or not whether it was your karmic lesson you needed to do or you were just so far from being in alignment with your divine life path that you were missing the flows of abundance and opportunity to you or whether you were on someone else's timeline or whether you were having some sort of energy that you were feeling that you shouldn't have been feeling that it got you that way because you know all low vibrational energy having envy and jealousy it's all low vibrational that's going to lower your abundance and your and lower anything and everything <laughs> to you you know that's what i mean like you're your life is a reflection of what you feel inside so if you feel down about your, if you feel down about other people that's really how you feel inside that's why like to me it's sad when i see people that are just so toxic to other people and saying so many things i'm like oh my gosh they feel that way about themselves i see things differently i'm a healer though i'm empathic and i've learned all of this right we are teaching you that so don't you know like um those are the people that they need the most help, right? 
That's why you'll notice too, like um, a lot of people will do that to get attention. That's why the they'll come at people and then they'll stay insulting them and fighting and arguing because they're getting attention. But it's like if you run into that person, you're like, oh my gosh, like I, you know, I feel I'm sending you some love and light. Like, would you like to talk about what's going on? Like, those are the people that will just walk away from me, <laughs> you know, and things like that. It is like. Um, You know, you, you don't fight fire with fire, you fight with love. It's not really, it's kind of dissolving it with love. It's really what you do. I can't tell you how many times I've had people come at me and they just start talking to them and then they'll apologize to me and be like, I'm so sorry, I was just vent. I'm like, I know, because <laughs> I'm a healer. But, you know, I don't often, I don't go around and tell people I'm a healer. I tell you guys that because you're in alignment because you're a healer. That's why you're here. You need to know that. Some of you are falling angels. Spiritual narcolepsy. Some of, like I said, some of you don't even realize how powerful you are. You heal people just by them being in your presence. And some of the situations that you've gone through is free to be able to help others. And you signed up for them. I know I signed up on one of the hardest timelines. I now know that I came down here saying, you know what? I want to I wanna come down and I want to have children and I want to have to raise them all on my own. And I want to take on that timeline to help others be able to find their way through being able to amongst, amongst all adversity, amongst, not like I can't talk today. I want them to be able to lose it all, but still be able to rise. I want to live the timeline where I have the world against me, against me trying to build my spiritual business. I have the world trying to tear me down as a mother. I have a world that puts me off as being a bad mother. Just just so I can show that, you know what, you don't give up. You don't live life for other people. And <laughs> watch me rise. Because, you know, that's why I put a lot of my personal situations out there. Because I, I do talk a lot about, like, me being a single mom, my experiences, the things that I've went through and endured and all of that. Because... I know that a lot of you are going to be connecting with me and seeing those things, right? Hardest thing, too, is um, realizing that sometimes you do have to set yourself out. you got to move yourself away from toxic family members and friends because you're moving me into this grace and generosity, the benefactor. It's interesting, mice and rats have been coming out a lot, and I've been seeing collective readings and coming out in some of mine. You know, but this is about like, you, you need to know not everybody's meant to be a benefactor of your success. And sometimes people will get removed from your life or you'll, or you'll get the realizations of, of certain people that could be holding you back that you have to set yourself aside from because they're not meant to benefit, to be a benefactor. It's like a lot of you have your, your things being protected from you. So other people can't use you because there are a lot of people that you will use people for resources. There's a lot of people that get drawn to you for your beautiful light because you, you, you have divine light within you and they're closed off from it. So they can only siphon it, get it, have access to it through you. You're simply meant to show them the way, show them the path, and sometimes you do have to cut them off. You have to see things differently. Intentionality. They're showing me I have the needle. Look at these very powerful colors coming out. I told you the yellow and the orange are very significant. Each of these cards all have this. Not every card. This is a very, very colorful deck. But these very, very powerful, almost golden. Look at this. The crown games. Right use of power. I feel like we're going to go over the three of these if you want the readings from the book at the end. Because I feel that I want to get into the tarot and focus on the energy a little bit. But let's see. Look at this beautiful card here at the colors. The blue and the purples. Straddling worlds. Wandering between realms. So I told you a lot of you are going to be seeing things laser focused. Getting the real clarity. The real reason. And you could be getting confirmation within this. Maybe, maybe not. Sky dancers surrender. Sometimes, you know, these energies come in, but they take a little bit to integrate. Getting out within the sun rays and the moon rays can activate things within you. For some of you, forgiveness is needed. Repairing the veil. Again, with the beautiful blues. Look at that. Blues and yells. It's really about bringing peace. Because for a lot of you, you have to get out of this fight or flight mode. You're in this... Um, fallen angel energy for some of you you're you're in this energy of like in this fight mode 
in survival mode. And I know that was something I struggled with for a very long time because I was in survival mode because of everything, you know, and me being a single mom and raising my children around, like I had to be mother and father. I had to be masculine and feminine. And I've been having everybody and everything come at me. I've been needing to fight and I've been needing to... Yes. I've been needing to calm myself down and get out of this fight mode, get out of survival mode. I've been holding on to a lot of anger and it's like I don't let it out, so I'll hold it within my body. So that's why the series of these full moons too are coming in and bringing up trauma. Not to mention like I had to fight myself. I had to grow up at a very young age, right? Because um, I signed up for one of the most challenging life cycles, you know, I... I, you know, was born into a very, you know, abusive family. A lot of, a, a lot of traumas and emotional and sexual and physical abuse and, and drugs, drug addiction and alcohol addiction and all of that and abandonment and, yeah, was, you know, left alone a lot as a child. I had to take care of myself. I had to learn how to take care, you know, and it was like me taking care of my parents, you know. I had to stop both my parents from killing themselves. I had to vapor act both of my parents. I had to bail both of my parents out of jail, like, and literally that's all I had, you know, that that's the only family because everybody had given up on both of them, you know. And, um, it's been very, <laughs> you know, very, and that's what I mean. Like I, I knew I had to keep my children away from them at many times of their life and they're not involved in, in my children's lives now, you know, so it's, you know, and I lost my father a few years ago, finally, you know, um, like, um, I shouldn't say, I don't know why it came out like that. Like, um, it, I don't, I don't know why it did, like, like, he, like, he, he didn't want to be here for a very long time, and I guess what I meant by when I said finally is that it, um, I, I finally got, got him to a place of opening up where my light working was finally <laughs> working, and it was like, when it finally did he was ready to, like, he wasn't afraid, like, his, he was afraid of passing over, he was afraid with all the things that, that he had done, and he was in such a toxic situation, it was like, him and my mother were so toxic for each other, and they were devils to each other back and forth, and they wouldn't stop it, and I couldn't keep them away from each other, so it was like, they just kept hurting each other over and over and over again. It was a lot, and um, it was like I knew that he completed his his karmic stuff, and he finally got to a place of where he was, you know, looking forward to um, the afterlife, right? So, you know, when he crossed over, it was just kind of like he was set free of it. So he didn't have to like battle anymore, ser serve his karma or whatever. I felt I needed to explain that. Maybe that's helpful for somebody else. You know what I mean? But now I know he's one of my spirit guides. Hmm. So anyway, let's get back in. So I like I said, I was going to get some tarot cards and then the benefactor. I have the needle and crown games, right? All right. Let's see. And again with the reds, I pulled the wizard. See this beautiful red and orange. Let's get some collective tarot cards. Hopefully I don't get interrupted. <laughs> okay. I'll have to stop my reading and I'll do others later because I'm at 30 minutes. So whenever, let's see, because it's not just me here, so I got my son, he's out, looking at some birthday stuff, he's excited, my little Leo child, his birthday is in three days, Leo, what did you say Leo? 
There's my little star trap there. I've got four star children. And this one likes to be a mouse, doesn't like to talk. So we're working on that so she can start kindergarten. So it's cute when the words come out. Say again, Leo. Leo. Good girl. Five of wands, nine of swords. Wow. This is what I feel that you're going to be coming out of or realizing. There's been a lot of, um, a lot of, um, stuff in your mind. I'm getting a lot of psychic warfare, spiritual warfare. Things could literally be coming at you because it said that. But what I'm feeling is there, there's a lot keeping you up at night. Nine of Swords is nightmares, um, stress, worries, but Five of Wands, um, it could be in internal conflict. You could be coming at yourself in a lot. That's why I feel some of this stuff I'm saying. Ooh, pretty. Uh -huh. I feel that some of the stuff I'm saying is going to kind of set your mind free because you're going to realize that, wow, yeah, maybe the life that I've been living is because I chose to live this pathway to help others because I'm a healer. Because that's how we heal things, guys. We, um, we, have, we, we absorb in everything that I've been through, even all of the abuse and the trauma that I went through. Like, I forgive. I forgive everybody that hurt me, everybody that abused me. Everybody that's taken advantage of me, all of the pain, you know, I have a, um, I have a lot of stuff I don't want to expose too much, but I, I do have a reading I did. If you want to know more of the trauma that I've been through that I've been able to clear out and forgive, I, I even put like an intimate reading where I say it's an intimate reading where I disclose some, some other traumatic things that happened to me, right? That, um, yeah, that I overcame and I forgive because of the fears and the worries and part of my timeline, whatever that. I experienced because I felt that way but I've been able to overcome those things as well and I feel some of you could be guided to those things if you've had those traumatic things happen to you right and they get stored within your body and you have to heal them out in some ways that I that I learned to overcome them but yeah we, we experience things and um, for others to be able to relate to us but it it happens for you to, for because see we're able to release these things and get back to the vibration of love and hold that love frequency and you need to know for that you have you know amazing rewards so it's really important to raise your vibration elevate back up remember why we came here that you do have an amazing like um adult life <laughs> coming or here for you if you had a very challenging childhood because once you can overcome all of that trauma then you have this amazing adult life here for you and they're showing me the lovers like you have a true soulmate someone that's going to love and adore you and cherish you and do right by you and do everything for you and you know but you have to be in alignment and ready to receive that. And that will get protected from you so you don't tear it apart. So you don't get into this situation due to insecurities. So if you still have insecurities of being abandoned or being, you know, cheated on or being taken advantage of or being abused or things like that, you're not going to come in alignment with this. You're going to be protected from it. Why? So you don't destroy it. It's like you're, you're golden. It's like... It's like, say, I'm going to use this for somebody. It's not for everybody. I'm just using it as an example. Like, say you were struggling with a drug addiction, okay? And the divine has a treasure box set aside for you, all of this money. Are they going to give you or let you find that treasure box or gift it to you when you're struggling with a drug addiction? No, because you would use all of that to your drug addiction, right? So that is why... See, they're back. I have to finish. So that is why, like, you will be divinely protected from that. And they won't give it to you until you're ready for it. So that's why, you know, it's really important to close out those painful cycles. And that's what you're doing, Ten of Swords with the world. So that way you can access this divine abundance that you have. And some of you are so far, like, stuck in your traumas that you're not realizing that you're just stuck in those traumas and it's a mindset. So a lot of this that you're needing to purge out and cleanse and 
let go of and see things in a different perspective and see it in a new way is going to allow you to change to that timeline of healing and into getting into this infinite abundance and realizing that you are royalty. Like I said, a lot of you that get guided to me, you're going to realize that you have so much. You're meant to be the benefactor of some sort of huge amount of legacy. Like literally like 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 abundance that's going to set you that's going to set up you your kids your kids kids like that's literally set up and set aside for the chosen for the one for four for the light workers the earth angels all of you that are going to be getting guided to this reading so even if you come in alignment with this on lion's gate or not you know um you know there, there's different paths a lot of us are going through many different things it's not to say that even if you're catching this later, that Lionsgate did change your reality, did get you on a different timeline because it takes a little bit like your optimal timeline. You could have a few more different ways you have to go, a few more people that are going to come into your life that are going to heal a trauma for you or awaken you to something or, you know, a few more things to experience. But that's what's so beautiful is we have a Lionsgate every year that's always trying to realign you with you you know it's the most powerful time to align you with your your true life's destiny and calling so yes all right guys definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not because it is always fun to catch them in real time but sometimes you know you're guided to readings later know that all right so love and light to all of you definitely um like the videos too that does an energy exchange with me because clicking it i feel your energy it allows me to know who's all connecting with me. And then you can come out more in my collective readings too. When I feel guided to collective readings, like say you're really wanting guidance and assistance and you're asking for help and I feel that and I give a reading. That's why some of the collective ones, if you feel it's not for you, it's for another soul family, right? Know that. All right, love and light to all of you. Bye guys.